And now, the moment you all have been waiting for, all the women want to be her, the men want her, and your kids want her to be their mom. TikTok sensation, it's your girl. It's your girl. She rose to fame with her dancing on TikTok, humbleness on the interwebs, and now has her own skincare line that keeps her young. Tammy's 35th birthday's coming up. Ew, she looks old. <laughs> I should have gotten Casetify, which is today's sponsor. Casetify's impact and ultra impact cases are more protective than my normal case that I usually use. I mean, <laughs> this thing, are you serious? I'm surprised my phone isn't cracked with how many times I've thrown my phone from things I've seen while scrolling through TikTok. They have engineered slim bumpers on the corners to make the case 6.6 .6 feet drop proof for the impact cases and 9.8 feet drop proof for the ultra impact cases with shock absorbing technology. Casetify is all about protection with personality. That means their case offers extreme protection. They double dog dared us to drop this on my floor right now and me and my dogs are up for the challenge. And now standing six feet high on half my staircase is Yoshi the 13 pound pug showcasing what this case can protect. Face protection is needed just in case. Can she do it? And there you have it, YouTube, no cracks. What can't this phone case and pug do? Give them a hand. The new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based material. So click the link below, casedivide.com slash thoughts. Choose from their selection of curated prints or personalize a case with your favorite font and design layout for a truly custom case for 15% off right now. Hello YouTube and welcome to another fat chick video. I forgot my microphone today, but 1,000 pound sister edition where I break down the very important parts of the show, 1,000 pound Tammy. I mean sisters or family because the whole family is just very big and to the people like one I saw who said um these episodes are quite old Michelle actually you're wrong if you didn't know I'm the only one who posts these on time right when they come out on TLC like right after because I have absolutely no life except for making these videos for you it takes absolutely no time to watch the episode and then film and then edit actually I I made this show. I didn't want to brag or anything, but I also produced the show. I, I actually play all the characters as well. So you can only get that here, so please subscribe. It's hard being an angry Tammy every single day when we film. Thank you. Now let's get to the next 1,000 pound sister episode. My ex-boyfriend, Phil, has been calling and harassing me. And I gave up on the diet. I changed your number and move. That's all I can tell you to do. Ooh, Tammy doesn't like that answer. Why? Because we all know according to her TikTok, in the future, she goes back with them. I like you. I just need to rant for a second. I know we are in the beginning and I'm already ranting, but she's like those girls that ask for advice. They tell you all their issues. They cry, they do this. They ask, you know, what's your opinion? What should I do? They say, should I stay with this low quality man? And then you spend all of this time with the whole, you're better than this. You should do this situation. They say, okay, yeah, I'll do this because you're right. He's a horrible dude. And then they're on TikTok doing this. <laughs> Waste. Why even tell people your problem? Why even ask, what should I do? I'm at the point because I'm in my thirties now where people are marrying these red flag type of people. Not just men have red flags, the women too. Some of these women are insane. And I'm just like this at their wedding. Good cake. Dumbass relationship, but fabulous cake. So then I absolutely love the next question Chris asks Tammy. What the hell are you doing on a website? Something like that anyway. Well, Tammy? Also, remember the log that the doctor asked Tammy to keep? Chris decides to ask, you know, how's that going? Do you even write one day's worth in it yet? Nope. That's just a guess. So let's see what she says. 
No. no. See. So Chris and Chris's wife and Tammy have to go see the doctor to see how much weight they lost or gained in Tammy's case. And Chris is really excited because he wants to see where he's at after, you know, remember last episode he had weight loss surgery and he wants to see where he stands. Did it work? As he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. But first they have, or Tammy has, the very long, slow, painful walk from chair to car. I feel like this woman has constant reminders and motivations, motivators through the day to get her shit together. But yet, we are still here. And then we do get a little insight on their older sister, Amanda. She seems to be a fan favorite because she appeared quite some time ago for a little bit. I am the middle sibling. So it goes Misty, Chris, Amanda, Tammy, and Amy. Who also had the same surgery actually that Amy and Chris had and lost over half her body weight. Basically, when my mom had my big brother, my big sister, she was just testing them. And then I come along with all my glory. Then the mode got broke with Tammy and Amy. Love her. She's the middle child. She's confident. She's loud. So I relate. I'm the one that's mouthy. I'm blunt, sarcastic. I'm usually the one that everybody calls for, you know, five minute bitch fest whenever everybody gets into it. So many people in this family are losing weight. That whole genetic thing that a lot of the body positivity people like to squirt out of their mouths doesn't apply here. Many people in this family are losing weight. Chris, Amy, Amanda, and I have to say her boobs are glorious. She's putting my girls to shame over here. We feel a little inferior. I'm sure she's just squishing a whole bunch of men. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> wait, YouTube's gonna age restrict me. Anyway, Amanda wants to plan for Tammy's birthday because they don't know how many more birthdays she's gonna have at this point and how her weight loss journey is going because it's just not. She should celebrate her life because there's been so many times that she's you know, almost, almost not died. been here. Yeah. Actually, along with the birthday, Amy wants to also take everyone on a family vacation, y'all. A good old Slayton vacay. I wonder, I wonder how Tammy will do with that. Tammy has been wanting to travel more. This might be something we can use to encourage her to lose weight. Because usually on vacation, you go, you know, you go sightseeing, you walk around, walk, you move a lot. I don't know. They gotta, first of all, to take Tammy places, they gotta haul Tammy's accessories, very large accessories around. Stop it. My shoe came off. They have to drive, ain't no flying, she can't fit. Tammy has to then haul her ass around and we all know how much Tammy loves to haul ass. She don't. Tammy, you uh, like, you would be staying at home. I'm sorry. Plus, shouldn't she be getting herself together? Vacations in many people's heads mean vacation from their diet duties. She can't get into a routine at home. How's she gonna do that on vacation? You never know what the future holds. So live for the day. I mean, I guess Amy's right. We don't know how long Tammy will be around. Time for Amy's weigh-in. And she even says that she will walk into the doctor's office. My God. It's time to, to get busy. It's time to start getting serious about weight loss. So she, instead of using her walker, is using them legs to walk on into the doctor's office. I've got all my issues with Philip. I'm ready to get back on track. So I'm starting today by walking into the doctor's office. Too bad she didn't apply that mindset before she got there because she's feeling a tad bit nervous and you know when people are feeling nervous, at least when Tammy's feeling nervous, it's because she didn't put in the work. But Chris is up first and he's been eating around a thousand calories a day. I would die, but he did get that surgery. And the doctor ends up asking him, so what have you been eating? What's the, what's the diet been like? What has your intake been like, Chris? Um, what kind of things are you eating right now, like solids you're experimenting with right now? Beef and gravy. Look at the doctor's face. Chris, you lost points, you know. <laughs> Damn well. So Chris mentions to me that beef and gravy are something that he's able to eat. You know, that's a little concerning to me because gravy to me means gravy made with flour, high fat content. Well, let's see how the beef and gravy's been treating Chris oh boy. All right, so 383.5 pounds. Woo! Yes, Chris! I'm like, wow. I am so happy the gravy worked out. I lost 25 pounds. 
in a month. He better be careful though, because that's a calorie dense food. It's easy to go over, to not measure correctly. Okay, Chris. So the doctor warns him that it's great now, but you're going to lose so much weight as he is right now. He's gonna lose so much weight in the beginning and then he's gonna hit the plateau. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'll warn you. Right now the weight's falling off and then you're gonna eventually hit that plateau. And he pretty much says, you know, don't stop. It's going to probably, you know, not hurt you mentally, but you know, like mess with your brain a bit because you were doing so, you know, the weight was just falling off in the beginning. So many of you guys message me about plateaus. I always have to talk about this when it comes up. It's very normal, especially if you're dropping 26 pounds in a month. And as for activity, he wants Chris to just add 15 minutes a day. Now I gotta work out 15 minutes a day for the rest of my life. But that's not easy, because you know, you got fat man mode. That's a few more minutes than a SpongeBob episode. You took my only food. No, I'm gonna starve. Okay, well now it's Tammy's time and she's not feeling good about it. Like I said, she's not feeling confident at all. I don't feel good. What's wrong with you? My stomach. I'm nervous about the appointment. Dr. Smith is not gonna be thrilled that I haven't been doing his goals. Honestly, none of us are thrilled, girl. We want you to succeed and the doctor does too. So he says, let's just get on. Just get your ass on. Not beat around the bush. Let's get you on the scale. Let's see where we are. Tammy at the last weigh-in was 639 pounds and the goal was to lose 25 pounds. Pretty much the same as Chris. 649 and a half pounds. <laughs> Okay, stop, stop, we don't need to do that again. We already did the commercial, but I'm shook. I've already watched this during cardio and I'm still shook. He said to lose weight and she did the exact opposite of what he asked her to do. So we had a goal to lose 25 pounds and we're up 10. Do you care? Yes. I gave you a food journal. Did you bring that with you today? Nope. So then you don't care. So if you brought it. I couldn't I'm gonna kick it. I, I, you're gonna have to explain that to me. I don't get that. It wasn't one of the prize. Yeah. We can tell. <laughs> she can say that it was stress from the BBW King stalking her and all that drama. But when she was in good standing with the king of BBW, she still was either stalled in her weight loss or gaining weight. So that excuse that she had earlier is in the trash. Actually, you know what? There, Tammy. That's where all your excuses go. There. Oh, I'm mean? This chick ain't doing anything. What about her steps? Let's see how the steps are going. Um, we talked about doing 75 steps a day. How are we doing on those? So I would assume that wasn't a priority either. So, question for the audience. Do y'all think that she deserves a vacation? Her whole life has been a vacation. She's lucky I am not her sister. I am not about to just tickle and fiddle your bad habits and horrible behaviors and honestly bitchy attitude. And what else is she not doing? Her therapy. We also facilitated a therapist. I tried. It wasn't working, can we just do it on the phone? Regular phone. Told me no, they had to see me on Zoom to set up another meeting. Okay. So I f forget it. So you didn't set up another meeting? No. And then Chris, my absolute favorite character, exposes her ass. She needs to focus on herself and not worry about relationships right now. Especially the people she's meeting online that have fetishes for big women. Woo! Look at her face. Do y'all see how mad she gets when they bring up the BBW king or all these men that she's flirting with that flirt with her just because she's obese or morbidly obese? She needs to get that mad at herself when she doesn't follow directions so she doesn't die. When you started doing the things I've asked you to do, you let me know. Then we'll bring you back and we'll weigh you. D Did he just break up? with her. But really, until we start doing these things that we've talked about, what are we accomplishing? I think we just witnessed an on-screen breakup from doctor to clients. 
And I'm honestly here for it. She's not doing anything he says, nothing. So why even see the girl? Listen, Tammy, once you do what you're supposed to do so you don't die, then come on down. That makes it easier for everybody involved. It's exhausting for, is it exhausting for you guys to just watch her? You know, doctor appointment after doctor appointment, the struggle to even walk into the office, the scale constantly going up and up and up, the constant excuses, the sitting there in silence when the doctor's like, so did you do anything I asked? And she's just like, and you're just burning gas and exhausting yourself taking a four hour trip what is the point this is exactly what i would have done maybe it's a nicer version of what i would have done but you know you let me know when you do it and then you'll tell me when you're ready to get weighed in so if you don't know tammy is back up to what she was before rehab pretty much the weight when the doctor met her. That's how bad this is. That's how much she has backtracked. Remember when she said the BBW King and all these men don't influence her horrible behavior and they want her to lose weight? Sure. It's very sad. It's very frustrating. And it's honestly extremely horrible. And let me ask, what, what would y'all do? What would you do if your sister gained weight on the verge of dying? What would you do? That's right. Throw her a party where you eat and drink like shit. We about to get lit on some mimosas, bitch. But I mean, I guess they need to celebrate Tammy right now because she was told back in the day that she wouldn't make it past 35. So she, I guess she's a walking miracle as it is. So before we get to the party scene, the crew is starting to talk about the vacation and Tammy says something extremely interesting. I don't even remember the last time we've been on a family vacation. And we didn't have the money for vacations. We barely have money to buy food. And I just wanted to talk about that really quick because I see a lot of the people in the body positive community and the fat positive community saying, most obese people can't even afford food to help them lose weight. No, I'm gonna starve. Yep, I use that again because there's too many obese chicks in this movement claiming they starve themselves, okay? Y'all are breathing, walking Patrick. So they say like they uh, can't afford the right kind of foods or they starve themselves so much that their body just holds on to everything. And someone emailed me or messaged me. They took one of the voiceovers that these fat acceptance people were talking and put it over kids in Africa. I am so sick of skinny people and I mean that genuinely. Thin people take everything. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I hate skinny people. You guys are just mad because you're literally the beauty standard. You have everything going your way and I could still fuck your man. These are all the comments from a fat positive warriors talking about the privilege thin people have who made these comments from the comfort of their own homes that have an abundant amount of food inside their fridges cabinets and possibly fold because that is an issue if i can lose hot cheetos in my boobs i know you big boys and girls be losing some food items up in your variety of fold horrible but it was just like a how are you starving? Or if you really can't, it's like, it's just such a slap in the face sometimes. Like I get that there's people that can't afford, you know, like that expensive shit, you know, like the super like protein powder. Like that's like not a necessity. That is just something extra that if you have extra money, you can get, you know, like, but you don't need those types of things. Like if you are actually starving and you are actually, you know, don't have money to buy food, how the fuck are you obese? I don't understand it. I see it a lot in these fat positive communities that they say, us fat people are too fat to afford food. And I'm like, you gotta be eating something. I went down to LA and the homelessness is, it's shocking. Almost all the people on the street that are living on the street are very frail and very thin. Like they literally cannot afford to eat. So, I just found that very interesting. I had to rant about it again. Some of you might be annoyed. Some of you guys might be clapping. Some of you guys might be looking like Tammy in the doctor's office. I don't understand. If you can't afford food, how the fuck are some of these people in this movement 400, 500 pounds? Explain that one to me. Educate my ass on that. Any hoozle, it's time to party. We gonna get crunked up in this bitch. Amy is just ready to pretty much do anything. She's like, ooh, my sister might die soon. We gonna get crazy and crunk. Like in the early 2000s. Oh, she got a whole bowl of cereal. You get that to drink? It's breakfast. She ain't supposed to have that, it's pure sugar. So she's going to eat this breakfast, whatever the fuck that is. And then she's gonna go on vacation soon. See, I told you, whenever people go to parties, vacations, goals just fall on out the window and get thrown into the dumpster. Look at Tammy looking like, hmm. 
she's doing it. Must be okay for me to do it. That's the same mindset I had when I still wasn't very strong enough when I went out with friends who didn't really care about what they put into their body. And I was like, well, I mean, they're doing it and they're like losing weight or they're like fit or this and that. When my ass can't control myself, I go above and beyond when it comes to food. So the middle sister wants to make sure it doesn't get too crazy when it comes to their diets when they go on vacation. We'll really have to keep a close eye on the cheat days so nobody really falls off the wagon sort of thing. Anyway, I don't think the vacation is going to be good for anybody, especially Tammy. And if they bring Tammy, I feel like she's gonna bring everybody down at least just with her attitude. But before we get there, they had a good time at the drag queen show. Tammy really enjoyed it and she enjoyed, you know, what her sisters put together for her. And I know I'm supposed to keep things very fun and not sad at all, but as y'all know, I am very sensitive with death. Probably shouldn't even be talking about it right now, but the older sister gets into a talk where, you know, they don't want their sister to die. Amy's like the smallest sister or the youngest sister and Tammy's the next youngest sister. And the older sister is like, I'm supposed to be the one that y'all bury first. You know, I want you around for a long time. Yeah, I'm the oldest, you get to bury me first. Yeah, well, I, I hope we all just stick, <laughs> hell, let's just all go together if we got to go at all. Then, oh my God, that got real. Cause then I started thinking about what if when I die, then my little sister has to bury me and she's all sad. Or what if my sister fucking dies before me and then I'm all sad. Ugh. So it drives me crazy when people aren't doing what they should be doing when it comes to their health, doing everything they can to just live life to the fullest. Like they're just literally digging their own grave and trying to get there faster. It just boggles my mind. I don't get it. I don't understand the fat acceptance community and I don't understand Tammy. I get that she's addicted to food, but damn, she's got all the resources she needs to live a good life and get her health. Anyway, back to the show. There's a whole lot of factors we need to consider on how to get Tammy somewhere safely. Is she comfortable enough? Does she have oxygen? Walkers, wheelchairs? pain meds, everything. One thing I related to when they were like putting everything in their cars were the fans. I feel like I saw at least two fans. Oh, there's three. <laughs> Everybody in my family sleeps with a fan. Cause fat people get really hot. Y'all, you see it right, yep, that right there. I need a fan all the time, relatable. I don't know if it's like a past fat chick thing, but I always need a fan, I'm always hot all the time. You got big boobs, creases under the, sweat. I don't like it, I need a fan. And then, the fight starts. Well, I'm, it's something's messing you shut up. up. No, you shut the up. And then more fights start. <laughs> this is why whenever I do road trips, I drive by myself. Because I know I'm probably gonna fight with somebody, someone's gonna breathe heavy, someone's gonna say something annoying, and I hate being in the car for hours. But they finally get there 12 hours later, and Tammy, <laughs> She don't want to get out the car. I want to go home. I want to go home. I told you. What did I tell you? I told you. You should have left her home. What the hell? Left her ass at home. Because this is going to be one hell of a Slayton family vacation with Tammy there. Especially with Tammy and her Tammy temper tantrums. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Next time, get ready for a good old Slayton family vacation where Tammy will probably complain the whole time because she's in constant pain. So. Get ready for that and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, but yeah, but these are cute, right? Amazon. Absolutely love them. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared.